This is a GemFan 5146.6 prototype prop. This is a GemFan, I don't know why, but it looks a lot like the 5146.6 quad blade, also prototype prop. And I bought these two to compare them against each other so you can see the differences in the same material, same plastic. So what's really interesting about this is that these companies are starting to make quad blade props again. HQ came out with their um, 4.8 inch quad blade prop and I think it's a 4.3 pitch or 4.1 pitch I don't know what it is and that is really that's a really really interesting prop because it's super duper smooth and now uh, Gemfan has come out with this quad blade prop which I'll measure up a little bit and see if it's the same length yeah it looks like it's exactly the same length as a 5146 so it's 5.1 inches and we'll take a look at the the blade shape right here you can see that well it's hard to show on camera but the blade shape is a little different you can see the hump near the hub of the prop is a little bit closer to the hub on the quad blade maybe i can flip it over you can see it a little bit easier there you go you can see that the quad blade just has a fundamentally different scoop pattern on the prop and the airfoil looks a little bit different as well although that's impossible for me to show on camera but you can see the pitch of the props the quad blade looks like it's slightly shallower so let's talk about the differences between a tri blade and a quad blade uh, first so quad blade props are interesting because they have just monster grip they just grip through everything and they just feel like they're so locked in control and those are the real benefits of a quad blade however the downsides are the amps are usually absolutely unreasonable. <laughs> They're super high, and as a result, the efficiency is usually quite low, and the speed of the prop is usually a lot less than a tri-blade, and that's probably for a number of reasons that people could probably guess at this point. However, I'm really just presenting this prop to you. Uh, overall, the performance, I'm, I really only have the HQ 4.8 inch prop to compare it against. The performance of this prop is very similar to any other quad blade prop. It does have just monster grip. When you do give it stick inputs, the inputs are somewhat exaggerated, likely because it's a quad blade prop and it just has the ability to execute more. It does feel super locked in control. The grip is ridiculously high. The efficiency is low. The speed is a little bit lower. However, the speed on this prop is higher than the HQ 4.8 inch prop and the efficiency is also higher than the HQ 4.8 inch prop. These props are usually better on wider stators because they are generally better at spinning high load props. And yeah, so look for this prop when it comes out. I wasn't a crazy fan of it. I'm not a huge fan of quad blade props. They kind of spoil you when you fly them because they are really smooth and really silky to fly and really nice to feel. But then you realize that the efficiency is so low and your flight time is so much lower that it's just not fun. So I just try to stay away from quad blade props because of those reasons and it's really not that different from a really good tri-blade these days so these two props are very similar except for the quad blade prop having a lot more grip a little bit less speed and a lot less efficiency so yeah give it a shot if it comes out i don't know if they're going to make it but the final version will be about five grams or 5.1 grams which will be about a gram more than the tri-blade 451.46.6 and that makes the the weight of the prop higher however because it's a quad blade it has the ability to generate thrust with less rpm change so the response actually feels maybe a little bit higher i don't know give it a shot if you like quad blades this is one of two recent ones that you might want to try take care floss your teeth bye